Hey, you guys. He want the scoop. She want the tea. She want the tea. I cannot speak. We keep it in the street. We keep it in the street. I took so, today is a new day. And I am going to the gym. Let's just hope this car starts. Because when I tell y'all the hell that I have went through with this car the past couple days. It's actually ridiculous. Okay, my car started, thank God. But let me tell y'all what happened, you guys. First of all, I went and bought two brand new tires when I got home. As soon as I landed, basically, had to order them. They came in, changed my two tires. The next day, I look at my car and one of my brand new tires that are expensive tires is flat. And I'm like, bro, I haven't went anywhere but the gym and home. Like, how the heck do I have a flat tire? So basically, I was like, cool, like, I'm just gonna take it to the shop the next day because it was a Sunday, so they were closed at the time. I'm like, okay, like, let me um, turn on my car so that I can roll the tire to see if there's, so I could try to see if there's a nail in there or not. When I try to turn on my car, my car won't start, you guys. Oh my gosh, so I'm over here at home with a flat tire. My car won't start, and I'm just stressed, you guys. I just wanted to cry. It was so frustrating because one, I had just spent all this money on these new tires, and I'm like, oh, am I gonna have to buy a new tire if it's if there's actually a nail in the tire? That's the first thing. And the second thing was, why is my car not starting? Like my battery isn't that old. Like yes, my car had been sitting at home for a while, but I've been driving it around before, and it started fine then so what is the problem now <sighs> anyways my dad came and helped me thank god he came jump started my car took it to the tire shop where they said that basically the little uh tire plug or whatever where you fill your air tire with air like i guess they installed it wrong or something so it was just leaking air there was no nail in my tire thank god fix that and now every time I turn on my car I'm just praying to God that it starts and that it's not an issue with anything that is expensive to fix hopefully it was a glitch anyways do you guys notice the difference in quality filming on my new camera anywho the day is kind of late um but I ugh. every time my cycle starts you guys my face breaks out and I have a bad habit of picking at it this hair also needs to come out and I can see all the the particles from my edge control like flaking oh it looks so bad but I'm just trying to decide like, should I just keep my natural hair for a while should I do another hairstyle but probably will do my natural hair for some time Nova is in heat so girl she has been whining for no reason I mean I get it I get it but day, girl I don't know what to do like I don't know what to do I just don't know what to do I have no groceries because um, I didn't, I couldn't drive to the grocery store. And yes, I could have Instacarted, it, but like, I just didn't. I'm about to head to the gym. It's four o'clock, so it's late. Ugh, I normally go earlier and I hate when there's a packed gym, but it is what it is. Honestly, I'm not even in the mood to work out, but I guess that something is better than nothing. I'm honestly gonna go, I'm not gonna be near long. Like we're gonna say 30, 40 minutes. Moses says that I should always aim for an hour and then if I do less, I do less. But you know, I got out of bed today and I made it to the gym and that is my accomplishment. Not out of bed, but I got out the house today and I made it to the gym. That's my accomplishment. At least I'm going. But yeah. Okay, you guys, so since I have no groceries in my house, I'm about to just get a water bottle from the gas station. Ugh, I desperately though need to go get some water bottles because chow i am dehydrated no i'm playing i literally just ran out if you guys think that all water tastes the same then you don't drink water for real if someone tells me that then i know they don't drink water the best waters are core and essentia but today we're just gonna go with core i'm definitely gonna have to buy some food afterwards but i have nothing at the house I'm even hungry now. Hey okay, guys, so just came to the gym. I'm not gonna lie, I'm only here so I don't break out of my habit today. I really don't feel like doing much. So I just like walk on an incline on the treadmill. And I'm not even on the store now because uh, almost all the machines are broken. So they were all the ones that were available were taken. So I'm just gonna do some core, get that in. But uh, I 
Here's the gym, we're super late. Everyone is coming here after work. So, I don't know if I'm really gonna hit the weights. <laughs> I don't know why I feel awkward still. And there's a lot of people. I shouldn't. Like, I just prefer quieter when it's quieter. And I should have came earlier. And I'm gonna come earlier. I just missed it today. So, probably do some core. And then, do the, get back on the treadmill just to work hard here. Moses is judging my time at the gym. I don't know how long you spend there. Maybe like 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Why no, not that's not true. Gym? I went in the gym at 4, four something, basically 4.10. It's 5.10. And then you left your water, you went back, got it. Yeah, that, was, that didn't take after long. After that. Maybe that took five minutes. First of all, today I didn't feel like going to the gym. It's just to go so I don't break out the habit of going. Cause I'm trying to rebuild going every day. And yeah, I came with this two pack. I hate being doing this two pack. At least I did, you know, what I did. I, I did some cardio. I would have done more, but all the equipment was taken and I didn't feel like waiting around. And I just did core exercises on the mat. I filmed like one, one set. I filmed only one set. But I did more. I have things. Anyways, I'm going to try to do more tomorrow. I want to get back on the machines. I haven't done that since, like, ugh, it's been a while. It's time to get back to it. I came when everyone is coming from work. I'm just loving this quality on this camera, you guys. Why are you looking at me? Because <laughs> thank you. Okay, you guys. So, in all honesty, a couple have, of days have passed. The past two days, I've just been feeling really lazy. I've just been going to the gym, but I really haven't been feeling that productive. I haven't told y'all, but I'm moving probably next week. And it's just been hectic trying to figure out all the logistics with that and getting ready and going through my storage unit and going through all my clothes. And I really haven't made too much progress. Maybe just packed up a box or two, but I guess I'll bring you guys along this journey. I don't want to say where I'm moving to yet. I want that to be a surprise and like a whole different vlog. But I'm definitely going to bring you guys on this journey of moving, packing, etc. Um, right now it's 10 p.m. And I'm about to head over to my friend Kaylin's house because she's going to help me take out this ponytail. You guys, it was so cute, but I need to wash my hair and it's time for it to go. She has graciously said she would help me. Hi. Hi, Marley. Oh, hi. Now when I stop, oh, begging. <laughs> begging for attention. Okay, here's your attention. You're so spoiled. Hold up, wait a minute, all good, just a week ago. At my house, we party every weekend, so on the radio, that's my favorite song. Make me bounce around like I don't know, like I won't be here long. Now the thrill is gone, got no patience, because I'm not a doctor. Go why is you lying? Girl, why you move faster? Yeah, me cause I'm Sukasa. Got it strip it like Gaza. Got so high on volcanoes. Now the flow is so lava. Okay, you guys. The hair has been taken out. My hair looks crazy. And there's a lot of product buildup. But I'm going to have to wait till tomorrow to wash it because it's nighttime. And I don't want to sleep with wet hair. But thank you to Kaylin. You're welcome. Her hard work. The thing with Marley is... When when you want to give him attention, he doesn't want it. Then when you don't want to give him attention, that's when he wants it. Dogs are just interesting animals because they're like that with everything. Even their toys, like if you're if, if it's a toy just laying there, they don't want it until you pick it up and you hold it. Or food. It's like they're sleeping. You go to the refrigerator and now they want to go get some food. Exactly. Like leave us alone. Over here for you. Literally. I don't want your attention now. You didn't give me the attention when I asked for it earlier. Stay over there. No, leave me alone. Bye. Stop playing. You know you like it. Tell her. Bye. I need to brush his hair. Bye. <laughs> I was just trying to call him earlier. He didn't want to come to me. Look, now he's excited. Bye. Stop begging for attention. Back up. Down, Marley. <laughs> Since you're begging, 
since you're begging okay okay you guys so it is the next morning i am currently out with novinsky hey nova nova i am trying to plan my day today I'm trying to be more productive i need to wash my hair since you guys know i took it out last night i just don't want to sleep with wet hair and get cold and sick since as of lately my immune system has been so bad so i'm gonna wash my hair i'm gonna head to my storage unit um after i get ready for the day i have so much clothes you guys that are from years ago that i've always kept and i don't even know why i've kept them it's just hard for me to get rid of clothes but for this move i just was telling myself like it's time to let that time go you know let those clothes go it's a lot of clothes that i don't even wear so some of it i'm gonna donate some of it i might be taking the play-dohs i don't know i'm probably just gonna donate all of it to be honest it's time to get ready for this move <laughs> Go Nova, it go Nova, it go Nova, it go Nova. Ah, leave it. Nova, leave it. Good girl. You guys, sometimes when I'm just outside with my dog, I just have those, you know, one of these moments, hold on. Where he's like, I think I like this little life. <laughs> I think I like this little life. I think I like this little life. So peaceful in the backyard. I can't wait till I have like a house with a backyard. Like, oh, so nice. Until that apartment. I don't know how I'm feeling about moving. I'm excited, actually. I'm very excited to move. But I've also never lived outside of the state of Georgia in my entire life. So that's a hint that I'm moving out of state. I'm excited for it because at the end of the day, it's something new, it's a new place, whatever. But I'm also like, okay, well, like my friends aren't here. And yes, we're grown. So like my friends will definitely fly to see me. I'll fly to see them because obviously my family's in Atlanta. It's not a far place wherever the place I'm moving to. But um, yeah, it's just different. And I'm excited to see how, what new people I meet. I still don't think it's like really registered. Like I'm really moving to a new city. I thought I was gonna move to Atlanta, but it just doesn't make sense me moving to Atlanta anyways. There's so much that goes on in the city. That week that me and Mosa had stayed in the Airbnb with Nova, I just realized like, I don't really like living directly in the city. I like it when it's accessible, but I like to like, I wanna be able to feel like, oh, I can walk my dog and it's not like right next to roads with just cars. Like there's grass area and green area without me having to go to a park and be with all these people. Like just like something peaceful like this, like, like, I like to be able to have my own space, somewhere I can feel safe. And the city just didn't feel like that to me. So I didn't realize that, though, for real, till like, I stayed there that week. Okay, you guys, I have washed my hair. So it's slicked back in this little bun. I'm just going to leave it like this for now, for a couple days, just to let my hair breathe and not put any heat on it. I know you guys see these moving boxes, so they've been sitting in that back seat for a couple days because I've been, it's too heavy to lift all of them by themselves. That's why, you know, I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl. I just arrived at my storage unit. I'm about to take a couple more boxes out. And I also got some bags because I'm going to donate my clothes that I'm getting rid of. And so I just got some trash bags to put them in for now because uh, I'm not going to be carrying boxes of clothes around. So, yeah. I think we had to come back home because I forgot the packing tape at home since I was packing some of the clothes that I have at home in boxes, which is so annoying. But thank God that this storage unit is only five minutes, like like five minutes away from my grave. Storage unit, you guys. I've already went through all these clothes to get rid of. They're just all in trash bags. Started boxing up some stuff, but I really don't have a crazy amount of things in here. But I do need to go through all these boxes still in the back, those bags on the ground, and the miscellaneous items. I think the first thing I'm going to do is go through the bags that I've already decided that I'm getting rid of and put <clears throat> the stuff that I can donate in one of the other bags I got. Because these trash bags are horrible quality. They rip. I don't even know where I got those ones from. Anyways, I have my better ones from home. <laughs> Want me to get wretched? 
niggas want me to attack it Put the hood on, all the time me cash it Crunch it like Bob Saget Pretty, I can't pass it Eating everything, nigga, no fasting I don't care what you knew me in the past tense I ain't no Jordan style, this ain't no last dance We pass it, wait Fucking on my ex, cause he validate me Fucking up a check, I don't want no receipt Mine get possessed, let my space speak freely Hey, my past can't escape me My pussy precedes me Why my how the time change I'm still playing the victim And you still playing the picky It's so embarrassing All of the things I need Living inside of me I can't see it Okay, you guys, so currently... I have these that I'm going to ignore those socks there. But all these bags, these need to go to donation. And so does this one. I'm just waiting to fill it up more. Ignore all the random stuff like this is going in the trash. These are all going in the trash. Just because it's stuff that I don't think I need to bring with me. It's kind of old. So I think I'm done working on here for the day. So basically, I've gotten these boxes. And all these bags of clothes is stuff that I'm getting rid of. And this is just stuff I'm throwing away in the trash. And this is stuff that I'm going to keep but leave at my parents' house. I think I'm going to call it a day because none of these, I would take the clothes today. But with the boxes in my car, which I didn't think of before, there's not really any space. I feel productive. So yesterday, I went ahead, dropped off all my clothes or donated all my clothes. And today I'm back at my storage facility. I brought my bubble wrap, so I'm gonna go ahead and start wrapping up my dishes and kitchenware and pack those up. And then I have a guy coming to, oh, ignore my hair, but I have a guy coming to take my washer and dryer out of my storage and give it to my dad, take it to his house and install it there just because I don't need it anymore. And I honestly can't be bothered to go to the trouble of selling it. So I'm just gonna give it to my dad. Okay, you guys, so it is the end of the evening. The guy, the mover came and he transported my washer and dryer to my dad's house. I just didn't get it on camera just because there's a lot going on because I'm almost done with everything in that facility. Honestly, I know this vlog was really just me packing and it wasn't necessarily anything super exciting happening, but I'm just ready. You guys. I'm just ready to start this next chapter of my life. Even though it was a chill vlog, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. We're almost at 10K subscribers. And I'll see you next time. Bye. I took a loss, but you still gonna get beat. You still gonna How much it costs? It never been cheap.